Morning guys, Anthony here, Friday, June 26, 2015. Have a short devotional to go over with you guys this morning from Psalm uh, 40. But before I do that, I just want to let you know that uh, I'm here as I am every morning and uh, looking at God's Word and studying it and praying and seeing what God has in store for me and planned for me and wants me to do. Um, early morning time is when I um, do most of my uh, Bible study. Um, not the only time, but early morning time is a prime time for me. Uh, I look at it as giving God uh, the best part of me, the freshest part of me. And uh, so I'm here this morning on this Friday. Uh, I've got a nice bowl of oatmeal ready to eat. I'm contemplating some other videos that I'm going to be doing for uh, the weekend. One of them is reviewing some things. Uh, I've got this Maxpedition uh, fatty pack that I'm going to start uh, packing up and show you guys how I pack this out for a trip that I'm taking. I have some exciting news. I got my new Yezu 2 meter uh, radio, the FT2900R. I'm going to be doing some videos on this radio, just learning how to use it now. I've got it mounted in my uh, stealth van. And so that's uh, look for some videos of that coming in. I also have the software for it to help program it better. Uh, so I have that coming in. So I got to learn how to use that. But before I do any of that, <clears throat> let's read uh, Psalm 40 this morning. And then I have a few words on um, uh, waiting patiently. Psalm 40 says this: I waited patiently for the Lord. He turned to me and heard my cry. He lifted me out of the slimy pit, out of the mud and mire. He set my feet on a rock and gave me a firm place to stand. He put a new song in my mouth, a hymn of praise to our God. Many will see and fear and put their trust in the Lord. Blessed is the man who makes the Lord his trust, who does not look to the proud, to those who turn aside to false gods. Many, O oh Lord, my God, are the wonders you have done. The things you plan for us, no one can recount to you. Were I to speak and tell of them, they would be too many to declare. Sacrifice and offering you did not desire, but my ears you have pierced. Burnt offerings and sin offerings you did not require. And then I said, here I am, I have come. It is written about me in the scroll. I desire to do your will, O oh my God. Your law is within my heart. I proclaim righteousness in the great assembly. I do not seal my lips, as you know, O oh Lord. I do not hide your righteousness in my heart. I speak of your faithfulness and salvation. I do not conceal your love and your truth from the great assembly. Do not withhold your mercy from me, O Lord. <clears throat> May your love and your truth always protect me, for troubles without number surround me. My sins have overtaken me, and I cannot see. They are more than the hairs of my head, and my heart fails within me. Be pleased, O Lord, to save me. O Lord, come quickly to help me. May all who seek to take my life be put to shame and confusion. May all who desire my ruin be turned back in disgrace. May those who say to me, aha, aha, be appalled at their own shame. But may all who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. May those who love your salvation always say, the Lord be exalted. Yet I am poor and needy. May the Lord think of me. You are my help and my deliverer. Oh, my God, do not delay. I wanted to read all of Psalm 40, but our devotional this morning focuses on uh, verse 1, where it says, I waited patiently for the Lord, and he inclined to hear, inclined to me and heard my cry. Uh, many of us have problems with patience, I being probably the chief um, waiting patiently for the Lord is not an easy task. 
most people are impatient and want everything immediately to, especially today in our in our society we want everything fast and we want everything delivered immediately and prepackaged and ready to go and on demand but what does it mean to wait patiently think about it um, meditate on this psalm today and think about what does it mean to wait patiently it means uh, to me a slow and steady approach to everything uh, that I do um, like I said in early morning by prayer and supplication and reading the Bible and, and being still before the Lord and listening uh, to him, uh, that helps uh, immensely with my patience because it helps me to focus on um, not my shortcomings, but if focus on God and may make him uh, come into my life and, and shape me and mold me. Um, but we should make our requests known to the Lord. Uh, don't hold back. You can cry out to God. Uh, he, he certainly hears us. Um, but also be sure to f uh, make sure that we're following uh, his will for our lives. And we do that by meditating on his word, by prayer, by reaching out to others um, and being vigilant in, in all that we do. But listening is very important. You know, when we pray. A lot of times what I'll do is I'll just sit quietly and listen. I just sit quietly and listen. Sometimes it's for a long period of time, not just for minutes. It may be for an hour. As we cry, the Lord hears and he will give us direction and guidance. Many times my heart uh, cries out to the Lord because the world seems to be surrounding and closing in on me. And things are just seem to be one uh, like a snowball coming down a mountain, just getting bigger and bigger and problems surmounting. Um, but again, being silent and listening to the Lord is very important because he'll help us through that. He knows our struggles and what our shortcomings are, and he understands our circumstances. There is nothing in the world that can come between your relationship with God. Nothing in the world. Be patient and continue to cry out to him, for he is inclined to hear our cries. And many times, um, being focused on other people, being focused on others, helps with our patience as well, and helps in every aspect of our lives, and when we're others focused. And I wanted to close uh, today's devotional with a, uh, a poem from A.E. Hamilton, and it goes like this. Ask God to give thee skill and comforts art, that thou mayest consecrated be and set apart into a life of sympathy, for heavy is the weight of ill in every heart, and comforters are needed much of Christ-like touch. That's our devotional today. I uh, hope it was a blessing to you as it has been to me. Um, I wrote that back in April uh, 2015. Uh, make it a great weekend. Uh, hold your head up. Cry out to the Lord. Be patient. Meditate on his word. And focus on others as well that may not know the Lord either. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this word today. We thank you for um, your love, your mercy, your grace, your peace. We thank you for sending your son, Jesus Christ, to die in our place for our sins, that we may have eternal life, Father. Father, I ask you to uh, bless those today that are crying out to you. Maybe those that uh, have never cried out to you, Father, this may be the first day that they cry out to you. And I uh, lift them up today, give them strength, hope, peace uh, in your word, in your truth. And Father, you do deliver. Uh, may your righteousness uh, reign in our lives. May you bless this country. May you bless this world, Father, that we live in. With all the problems that there are, Father, we know that there is hope in you and through your Son, Jesus Christ. And it's in, in his name I pray. Amen. Thank you, guys. God bless. Stay ready.